How to add a slideshow in Wix. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I will show you guys how you can add a slideshow in your Wix website. So this helps in elevating your website. It helps you in displaying multiple different hero sections on the front of your page and can help you in boosting multiple different promos collections all in one page. So let's get started. To do this, you're going to head on over into your Wix website dashboard. And once you have opened up your Wix website dashboard, you're going to click on edit site over here. And once you click on edit site, this will open up a new tab. And in your new tab, you have the ability to edit your site. Now, the best part about using Wix to build your website is that it allows you to build a website so easily and so efficiently that you're not going to want to use anything else. So I am actually going to delete this section and we're going to get started from scratch. So this is what an empty section would look like. And we're going to create our slideshow. To do this, we're going to click on add elements on the top left. And once you click on add elements on the top left, you are going to go on ahead and go into interactive elements. You're going to find this right at the center where it says interactive. Once you go into interactive, you have two types of slideshows. You have box width slideshows as well as full width slideshows. Full width slideshows go edge to edge on your user's screen, whereas box width slideshows are at the center of the screen. This totally depends on your personal preference on how you want to structure your slideshow. So you can go into full width slideshows and you have quite a few different templates available as well. You can use one of these. I am just going to add this one. And once you have added your template, we can move this around. You guys can see this is a larger section, but I can just attach this to the section. And once you have completed that, you will be able to view all of your slides. So we're going to click on change slide background. And I think I'm going to first manage my slides. So I'm going to click on manage slides on the left. I'm going to delete all of these slides like this. And I'll click on add new slide. And this is going to be slide two. Then I am going to be removing the first one completely. I'm just going to duplicate these slides. Okay. And I'm going to go into slide two and then change the color just so I have a differentiation. And I'm going to go in the colors. And these types of brown colors. So this is the second slide. This is my first slide. This is my second slide. And then I'm going to go on to the third slide and I'm going to click on color and we can pick out a different color as well. We can even go with a gradient like this. So I think this looks pretty nice. We have three slides. Now providing colors in the background is not necessary. If you want the image banner to be the entire slide, then instead of selecting a color, just click on image on the right over here. And once you click on image, you can upload your image or choose media files from Wix. Let's say I want to choose, I'll just choose a media file from Wix, but you can obviously upload your own media. I'm going to be using this image and you can just add this as the background of the slide and add your content on top. Now you can also add videos and you can also click on settings to alter the opacity of the image background. If you want to lay out any text on top, you can add that over here. You can also add the saturation of the color that is presented behind the image. Then after that, you can also add filters. So you have the ability to adjust any image that you are using within the slideshow. Once done, you can move toward designing your second slide. However, I want to add some elements on my first slide. So I'm just going to click on add elements here. And let's say I have some text. So let's say I have some heading, which is going to be learn with Lily, master makeup, art and elegance. And then I can choose the font of my preference and I can make the text bold as well. I'm going to select, click on edit text. I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to reduce the font size like so. Click on the box over here and just increase the size over here. Add this like so. Now if I move towards the second slide, my text, even though I did nothing special, is going to move with the slide so it doesn't stay on top. It's just going to move with every section. 
Now I want to make this text white, so I'm just going to click on edit text, click on color on the right, and then we're just going to add this. We're going to increase the font as well, like so. Now I'm going to click on the slide and I'm going to click on manage slides, go into my first slide. So I'm going to click on settings, not settings for this one, but I'm going to have to click on design. And we have our slide buttons. We have different styles of buttons we can choose as well. I also have selected button, navigation arrows. No, I want to alter the background. So I'm going to click on change slide background, click on settings. And I'm going to also turn down the opacity of the image because I want my text to be really visually, you know, visually dark. And I've also made the slide a bit shorter. Once I've done that, I can click on over here to manage, change my slide background, click on settings. And now I'm going to reposition this a little because I want the part where the makeup brush to a bit more central. So this positioning looks better. Once completed, I can go towards my second slide by clicking on the arrow on the top left. Now for this, I want to add two images on the sides and some text in between. So I'll click on add elements on the left, click on image, and I'm just gonna use some free images from Wix. So I'm just going to search for makeup over here and I'm going to add this one and then I'm going to go back, search for makeup. And once I do that, I'm just going to take some images from Wix again. So I think I want to use this one. I'll just click on add to page. And now that I have my two images, I'm just resizing them over here like this. And these are going to be a part of the second slide. I'm just adding these two images like so. I'm just going to resize them a bit. And I'm even going to move the section up further. I want it to be really skinny. And after that, I'm just repositioning the images. And like so, once I have settled on the position of the images, I can click on add elements and add more elements. We can add decorative elements as well. But I think I'm going to leave it as it is. And we have the next slide. So this is our second slide. And now time to design our final slide. For that, I just want to add some text. I'll click on add heading. I'm going to click on edit text. And I'm going to write, what are you waiting for? And I'll just increase the size of the font by a lot. Choose a different type of font. I'm just going to select the text, increase the size, make it bold, give it a white color. Then I'm going to add a highlight, not a highlight. I don't think the highlight looks nice. So I'm going to go into effects and I might want to add a shadow, a outline effect. We might also have, you know, we have quite a few different options for effects, but I think we have characters, line spacing. I think I'm going to go with the shadowy effect over here. And then I'm just repositioning my text over here. Like so, and I can add buttons on my slideshow on Wix as well by clicking on add elements and then going on to buttons on the left and we can add that. Once you have created your slideshow, just click on save on the top right. And then we're going to click on preview to see what our slideshow is going to look like in action. So this is a preview of our Wix website and this is what our slideshow looks like. It's a really smooth and nice slideshow that can help you in elevating your site. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.